All right, y'all. This episode's going to be a little different, both because it's been a while since we've reviewed a blaster here on Jedi TV, but also because this one isn't by Nerf. Now, those of you that have followed me for a while on this channel, or perhaps you came here from my previous channel, you know I love Nerf blasters and toys in general. And you may have even heard me say this before. I got into Nerf mostly just to play around the house and plink out in the yard. I did play in a few games at DEF CON 1 when I was in San Diego, but I haven't been to any big organized Nerf games or HVZ games like I see a lot of other YouTube Nerfers participating in. Yet. So I wasn't sure how this Nexus Pro Blaster built by Dart Zone and marketed under Walmart's Adventure Force brand was going to fit into my playstyle. But it's such a cool and revolutionary blaster, I had to pick it up and add it to my collection. And of course, share it with you all here on Jedi TV. Because one of the promises I made to myself when I built the new toy museum was that if I added any new toys to my collection, I had to do a review video on that toy. So let's break this Nexus Pro out of its box and get a closer look at it. Whenever I go to a larger cowboy action shooting event, I get a lot of requests, particularly from my younger audience, to do more Nerf Blaster reviews. So if you're one of those folks that are waiting for some of my foam flinging adventures, here you go. Give me a shout out in the comments section down below and hit that like button on this video. Now, about the Adventure Force Pro by Dart Zone. This blaster can be found on Walmart shelves for just under 50 US dollars. That price gets you the blaster with an adjustable rear stock, and the post for this stock is compatible with real steel firearm stocks, so you could outfit your Dart Zone blaster with your favorite style of stock. A 12 round magazine for full length darts, an adapter for a short dart magazine, and a 12 dart magazine for short darts. A front muzzle brake, and that just friction fits into the front of this blaster. An elevation adjustable rear sight, and that rear sight just slides right on the tack rail here, and it also includes an adjustable front sight. The Dart Zone Pro also comes with 24 darts, 12 regular length, and 12 short darts. Also included are the instructions. The good. This blaster is incredibly accurate. I mean, for shooting foam darts, which are inherently not exactly accurate, the combination of quality darts, higher FPS, and a metal barrel makes for a blaster that fires pretty darn straight and accurate. My very first shot with this blaster was knocking down a water bottle at 50 feet. Now that's pretty impressive for a, quote, Nerf blaster. And yes, it's a factory produced foam blaster with a metal barrel. As far as I know, that's a first. I don't think any other blaster in my collection features a metal barrel. And again, that combination makes for a fast shooting, accurate foam dart blaster. And I should mention in this segment that the Dart Zone Pro is compatible with most Nerf magazines and Nerf darts. Which is great for those of us with a large collection of Nerf brand magazines. Currently, there are no Dart Zone magazines available on the shelves, but I'm certain there will be soon. Now, I purchased an additional package of 100 short darts because these get lost very easily and they're great darts, so I wanted to have a lot of them on hand. The bad. Well, I wouldn't say that this is a bad thing necessarily, but it's certainly something to consider. This is not a blaster for younger nerfers or a blaster to shoot at younger nerfers. It's designed for competitive play. And because of the high FPS ratings on this blaster, the darts sting a bit more than getting hit by your typical nerf blaster. To put that into perspective, it's a bit more of a sting than say, getting hit with one of the Nerf rival blasters. Not much, but it is noticeable. Not something for little kids. <laughs> nice shield. A 
again, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's certainly something that parents or grandparents shopping for a Nerf blaster should be aware of. My opinion. Now, this is my first experience with short darts, but from what I understand and from what I've seen in my playtesting, the short darts fire at a higher FPS and have a longer, more stable flight path. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned that I wasn't sure how this blaster was going to fit into my playstyle, since most of my battles are relatively close range inside the house type battles. And I'm happy to say that this blaster works great for that. I just load it with either the standard length Nerf darts or the standard length dart zone darts, and that slightly lowers the FPS and again, puts it a bit closer to the rival level of gameplay which for Logan and I, that works just fine. In fact, Logan and I added in more accuracy challenges in our nerf battles. So rather than just hunting and blasting each other, we added in objectives, like who could shoot the most cups, which were placed randomly around the house without getting tagged out by the other competitor. In addition to that, we also set up some target shooting games with this Dart Zone Nexus Pro Blaster. I think you're out, dude. But you got four out of five, and I got three out of five. So you got me, again. So bottom line, I found this blaster fit quite well in a game as long as the other player was equally matched with either a Dart Zone Pro or one of the better Nerf rival blasters. For outdoor play, of course, this blaster is going to increase the range at which you can engage a target which would give you a distinct advantage over someone who was playing with a standard Nerf blaster that could maybe only fire half the distance as the Dart Zone Pro does. In other words, you would be able to engage them long before they would be in range to engage you. Having said all of that, I'll wrap this episode up with my final thoughts. Overall, the Dart Zone Nexus Pro gets two gunfighter thumbs up from me. Now, what do you all think? let me know down in the comment section. And for my Nerf fans out there, I encourage you to follow me on Instagram. It's at host of Jedi TV. I post a lot of fun Nerf related content over there. So check that out. And again, thanks for watching. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place in some other time. Like maybe on the Nerf battlefield this time. <laughs> and have a longer, more stable fight, flight, flight, fight, fight.